For Splonator.com, I'm Noobs. Well guys, <laughs> miracle of the ages here. The day has finally arrived. Nintendo has unveiled the NX, or I should say the Nintendo Switch. Yes, that's right, that's the name of Nintendo's new hybrid uh, home console slash portable system. Uh, frankly, I think the name, I'm not sure. This might be the only flaw that I noticed today of this whole reveal, or maybe I just have to get used to the name. You know, it's, it's less crazy than the Wii will get used to it. Uh, wow, uh, all the rumors were true, or I should say all the believable ones. Uh, the controls are exactly what has been said for a while now. Um, the left and right sides of the handheld pop off. Uh, you've got a joystick and a split D-pad on one side, joystick and four face buttons on the other. Um, you can turn them sideways like Wiimotes and do play games with them multiplayer. Uh, on the screen or on the TV, uh, or you can pop them into uh, let's let's get the name here the Joy-Con grip. Uh, oh, by the way, these these little separate pieces these are called the Joy-Con L and R. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, you fit them into the Joy-Con grip. And you've got yourself a more traditional controller, or you can just buy yourself a uh, Switch Pro controller and uh, you know use those on the TV on the. Uh, portable when it's separated. Yes, there is a kickstand on the screen. As well, it was confirmed this thing is powered by a custom NVIDIA Tegra chip, so that's good news. It's not totally clear how powerful this thing really is. I mean, how much can you really pack into such a small device? It's not going to live up to a PS4, but you know what? It's still an improvement over Wii U. It's running Wii U games. Uh, and, and even if, if nothing else, it's far easier for third parties to port to than that old antiquated Wii U architecture. So I think that's a great step as well. And yes, it will use the little DS, 3DS style cartridges. So as far as the presentation and the marketing goes, I think Nintendo absolutely nailed this. All right, this is exactly what they needed to do. This is a totally fresh, clean slate. Uh, they're back to using the, the Nintendo Red in their marketing. I love that. Um, there's absolutely no confusion over what this thing is. The video was very clear in what it is and what it does, which is great. Uh, it's interesting to hear afterwards, uh, Nintendo said that they want people to think of this as a home console first that happens to be portable. I'm not sure if they're sort of hedging their bets there. Uh, in case it flops and they want to put out a new handheld or maybe they're just trying to uh, keep the 3DS going for its last Christmas before they admit that this is its replacement as well as the Wii U's replacement. Or maybe it's just uh, how they're marketing this thing in the West. I mean, they could easily in Japan say we want people to think of this as a handheld first because uh, in the West, consoles rule and in Japan, it's, it's handhelds that sell. As uh, Splodinator superfan Kevin pointed out on our Facebook page, um, you'll notice that they're targeting kind of a, a younger 20-something crowd in this video. There were no families, no kids, no grandparents. Um, I think Nintendo has uh, given up that formerly blue ocean. I guess they're, they're targeting those guys with their mobile games now. As far as games go, there were a number that were shown in the video. We saw, believe it or not, a bit of Skyrim in the video. Skyrim coming to this system, uh, along with an NBA game. That's as far as the third party support went in the video itself. Uh, first party games shown, including, of course, Breath of the Wild. Uh, a new 3D Mario game looks great. And some form of Splatoon and Mario Kart. Now, both of those are interesting. Um, it's not clear if those are sequels or enhanced ports. Splatoon had more character customization, and Mario Kart had two item slots, as well as King Boo playable. So, clearly these are things that were not in the original game. Uh, but Mario Kart, well, in fact, both of them looked exactly like their predecessors. So, again, not clear if these are ports or not. Uh, in any case, frankly, I'm happy if they do a bunch of, of uh, enhanced ports from Wii U. Uh, there were some amazing games on that system that just haven't gotten the love they deserve because of how badly selling the system was. So if some of these games get a second life and Nintendo gets some extra profits out of their investments on these games, I, I think it's great. 
Uh, personally, I'm hoping for an enhanced Smash Brothers for Wii U. Adds all the DLC, maybe some new modes. Didn't see that here, but come on, it's gotta happen, right? Uh, in addition to those two third-party games that that were shown, Nintendo has since released kind of this, you know, that standard board of, hey, here's all the third parties supporting us. A lot of them you'd expect: Activision, Atlas, Bandai Namco, Capcom, Koei Tecmo, Level Five, Sega, Square Enix, Ubisoft, Warner Brothers. Uh, a couple more surprising ones: EA, which shouldn't be a surprise, but sadly with their relationship with Nintendo lately it is actually a surprise and then Bethesda as we mentioned Skyrim coming to the system uh, a couple of curiosities or questions I've left over from this obviously it's only a three three and a half minute video so they couldn't reveal everything not by a long shot for one we know Just Dance is coming to the system uh, they didn't hint at all that the the break off controllers sorry the Joy-Con L and R uh, were motion controls. We've heard that in rumors, and again, for Just Dance to work, you would think they'd be motion controllers, but maybe Nintendo just, you know, as we said with the marketing, that's not really the demographic Nintendo was going for with this initial video, so maybe they'll save motion controls for later. As well, nobody touched the screen on this thing at all. Uh, again, I would be shocked if this was not a touch screen on this device, but they are saying home console first, so it makes sense that they wouldn't require touchscreen at all, but you've got to think they're going to want to do some more Mario Maker. That was a big hit for them. I'm not done with that franchise at all. I want it to come back, so uh, hopefully the touchscreen is in there as well. And then, of course, the other question is online. Nothing was said about accounts or how it's going to interact with uh, your existing Nintendo Network ID or Nintendo account. Uh, certainly nothing was said about virtual console or if you can carry purchases over. All big questions that matter to me that maybe don't matter so much <laughs> in an initial three minute reveal video, but uh, a lot a lot to be said still. Uh, having said that, I am super excited for this thing. I think it is exactly what Nintendo has needed for a long time. Uh, they've needed to merge uh, all of their software onto one system. They simply don't have the manpower to support two systems uh, with how resource intensive systems are these days. The controllers look great. I'm so happy that Nintendo is moving away from sort of the, the controller gimmicks. I know that's a controversial term, but I mean really they're stuck with pretty standardized controllers with this thing. That in and of itself is promising. And uh, frankly, I think it'll be a big success. I'm, I'm ready. I want mine now. So let me know what you guys think. What questions do you have about the Switch? What went unanswered in this brief video? Uh, there's a lot still to come, I'm sure. So uh, stick around. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Uh, covering the Switch right here. <laughs>